Yo, hey, check this out. You gonna learn today. Welcome to this week's edition of the Lakeside Chat. I'm your host, Brother John Muhammad, and thank you for tuning in. As always, we're here with community figures, political leaders, and everyday people. We'd like to encourage you to go to the page, facebook.com slash Lakeside Chat. And today, as we mentioned, that we're here with a great friend of ours, a friend of the community, uh, my brother and candidate for mayor of the city of St. Petersburg, Anthony Case III. Thank you so much, brother, for welcoming me here. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I do humbly appreciate this. and. Um, yeah, just thank you so much, man. Man, you're welcome. You're welcome. So for those who don't know, who is Anthony Case? Mm, who, oh, who is Anthony Case? <laughs> oh, and you know what? That actually reminds me my first mayoral run back in 2013, not to get off topic. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know who it was, put out a blog. Right. And, it, and the, they labeled the blog, who is Anthony Case? Oh, wow. And why is he running? Right, right. So you asking me that, I guess this I can now answer. To yeah. that blog as well and let them know okay. who Anthony Cates really gotcha, is. Gotcha, gotcha. And who is Anthony Cates? Um, as I state all the time, I sometimes underestimate who I am because, like I say, I feel like what I do, the things in the community, these are the things that the everyday person, as you mm -hmm. say, should should be doing. Right. But I am Anthony Cates III. Um, I started being involved at an early age. I'm mm -hmm. talking seven or eight when, when my father anthony kate senior right he he got us involved early and i mean we were doing that. i didn't understand why at seven years old we were out cleaning the streets picking mm -hmm. up trash helping out the elderly neighbors put windows in right. put doors in things of that nature i didn't understand and i now know i reflect back and i realize right. what my father was doing and, and, and what he was setting me up for. And it was to do what I'm doing today. Right. Um, and who am I? Oh, well, I, geez, I'm a people's person. I just, my passion is to help people. Right, my right. My entire life, all I ever done was help people, did countless selfless acts to help, to make other people better. Right. Because that's just who I am, and Absolutely, oh, so, I, so with that, you know, helping people and, you know, you said you ran in 2013 and you're running again. So what inspired you to run for mayor of the city of St. Petersburg? Wow, what inspires me? The people mm -hmm. and the, the neglect mm -hmm. that our politicians put towards our people. Right. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate at the age of 23 mm -hmm. when, when I first ran that I had to jump out and run because I did not feel the passion, I did not feel the, the, the care, and I, I just, I felt betrayed by our, our politicians. Right. And, and it's, it's at 23. And that's not uncommon, particularly yeah, and, a lot of people feel that way, and, like, you know, politicians mm, don't really have our best interests. And, and that's so true, and, and, and it just puts in your mind, why must we continue to trust mm -hmm. the people who we don't trust? Right. And we don't trust politicians, however, election after election, we elect these same career politicians mm -hmm. into our offices right. to hold our seats and to put in charge of the decisions, the everyday de the decisions they make, it affects the everyday lives right. that we face. And I think that's what that's important to, to note because mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, they say that they don't do politics or mm -hmm. that aren't interested, but what you just said, mm -hmm. you know, it, it affects our and lives on a daily basis. Yes, and that's something that we must get out of. We, we, we really must start paying more attention to politics because whether right. we like it or not, it's not going away. Right. And this is our livelihood at stake. Right. We're, we're, we're putting our lives in the hands of people mm -hmm. who 
lives a certain standard of life and as long as they go home and get to feed their children right and they don't in regards they don't care about us who are down here right. the people like myself the people like you mm -hmm. the people like the students who attend uh, uh, um, Campbell's Park Elementary yeah. Melrose Elementary right. these people they don't too much care about us because right. the, they live a lifestyle and that's that. Yeah, you made me think about Michael Jackson, and, right? Oh, <laughs> they don't really care yeah, about and, us. And there you go, they don't, man, and, and it's, it's unfortunate. So let me ask you this, just with the race that you're running, what um, what makes you think that you'll win? Like, how confident mm -hmm. are you in your ability to actually get this thing through and, and win this time? And what makes me think that is, um, I won't even say I think, it's it's I know. The, the, the people, they're tired of what's going on. Mm -hmm. the, the people, in 2017 are more awake than right. what they've been in the in the previous years elections and it's it's just that they're tired of what's going on and mm -hmm. the message that i have for the people i'm of the people right in fact i labeled my campaign as the people's campaign right, right. so right. anything that i speak on it's not going to be something that i want right this is something that the people want right and one of the things just in the circles that I'm in you know going around the city the, one of the big topics is economic development mm. and people are talking about true economic mm. development mm. Um, so two things for you what does true economic development look wow. like and how would you make economic it development is small businesses it's our everyday people mm -hmm. who be, who we can afford the opportunity to become Producers, right, and not consumers. Oh man, because we live in such a consumer. Yeah, I say that world. again, right? Producers, not yes. consumers. Pro producers, not right. consumers. And 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 with the way I envision mm -hmm. economic development, it's people like you and I, the small business owners, like any Terrell's Beauty yeah. Supply Store. It's these small businesses, or for instance, Miss Tasty's. Miss Tasty's ice. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. these small businesses who we need to invest in, right? Because that's who's going to implore our neighbors, um, our children, things of that nature. And if we don't invest in the small businesses, how do we expect to continue to thrive and make our economic standpoint in this world become vast or be right. recognized on a national level? We, we, we must start investing right. into our small communities in deprived neighborhoods, right. And then another one of the things, again, you know, going around the city um, with the work that we've been doing, community organizing, um, when you look at crime statistics, mm -hmm. crime stats are trending down all over the country, but there's this feeling mm -hmm. among people that, where they don't really feel safe in their community. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, previous administrations have invested heavily in the police. I think it's like 56% of the mm -hmm. budget. Mm -hmm. So what would be your approach to public my, safety? Oh, and, wow. and my approach is the youth. Um, I'm, a, I'm vice president with I Support Youth, mm -hmm. and we focus specifically on the sustainability of our youth right and if we don't invest in our youth now they're going to slip through the cracks mm -hmm. and that's what ha has happened in the past years like you say we invest heavily heavily mm -hmm. in our police right. department and for instance last last summer we gave five hundred thousand dollars to pinellas county sheriff to lock our babies up right why why is our mayor mm -hmm. year after year writing a check Several hundred thousand dollar right, check. Right. Here you go, Pinellas County Sheriff's, mm -hmm. and to, to lock our babies up. Right. We have to get in early. Mm -hmm. We have to focus on early edu early edu early childhood education. Right. We have to focus on these smaller organizations that's going to help curb our youth and, and crime, and we got to get them involved. Right. We have to get them involved. We cannot continue to go down the path that we're going down and not educating our youth, creating a cycle year after year mm -hmm. to where that we're not set up for success. Right. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back and we'll talk more with mayoral candidate yes. Anthony Cates, the third. The third, yes. And uh, we'll Thank be right back with more from the Lakeside Chat.
Welcome back to the Lakeside Chat. This is so much fun, man, yes, by the man. way. Um, stuff happens behind the scenes that you don't get to see. Um, shame on you. <laughs> Come down every Sunday at 2 o'clock. Go to the page, facebook.com slash Lakeside Chat. As mentioned, we're here with Mayor or Candidate for the City of St. Petersburg, Anthony Case III. And before the break, we talked about the youth and education. Um, and it seems like when you when you talk about that, I can tell you're very passionate yes. about the youth yes. and um, the work that you do yes. uh, with them. So what type of experience do you have? and working with young people in the with community. The oh, like I say, it started early as a kid. You know, I was, I would like to believe now that I'm coming into the, to the conclusion of I was a natural born leader. Right. And everything in my youth has propelled and stepped me up for what's now. And right. Early in, in high school, I was actually volunteering with the Sixth Circuit Court under a program called juvenile arbitration. Okay. And it's basically giving our youth a second chance at life before mm -hmm. they get unfortunately convicted right. and have a record which will ultimately hinder them for the rest of their lives. Right. Um, and I've gotten over oh over two hundred hours right volunteering with that um, program and I've even shot an educational DVD with the Sixth Circuit Court Judge Greg Demers okay. when he was in in, 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 in his in office. Mm -hmm. And now, like I say, I'm with I support youth. I'm a vice president, and oh wow, I just do so. We we do. Yeah, not yeah, no, I, I, I won't say I. No, I, I get to I get out of that mindset. We do so much, <laughs> right? And with with our youth, and what several months ago we employed 52 youth, mm -hmm. and which brought our total now to well over. 160 jobs that we wow. prepare for the youth right here in our economically deprived areas right. of St. Petersburg, Florida. That's awesome. And and that's just part of what I do. And right. even so, I've, I've given, wow, countless dollars in school supplies to Yeah, to I remember. I elementary. Remember. Yeah, you, you it's just so that. much. It's, it's so Kids much. love the kids. <laughs> that's what it is. And, and it's just so much. And it's, 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 uh, it's all about giving them that opportunity because right. my father uh, afforded me mm -hmm. and the rest of his eight children with the opportunity to succeed in life right and it's only right that I bestow that upon the other children here in st. Petersburg Florida who I care so much about it who I call my family right and, and so with, with that you know thinking about the children and you know starting young and then a lot of people when we talk about changing in our community mm -hmm a lot of the change has been incremental mm -hmm. and so we've been going around talking to people about what we can do to have a transformational change mm -hmm. what would be your thoughts on that should we continue this gradual trek towards you know progress or i mean do we need something as i would say as my father always told me when 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 something seemed to got hard or i was stopped or it wasn't moving as fast as i would like mm -hmm. he always told me rome was not built overnight okay and so some progress is better than no progress. Mm -hmm. However, can that progress be accelerated? Right. Yes, it can that's be. That's a great and, point. And that's something that <clears throat> the message that I have to get out to the community. We mm -hmm. we must we must come okay. together. And, I, and you know and what? I appreciate that. that. I really appreciate you saying that um, because other candidates and other people will say, "When I get in, I'm going to do all of this mm -hmm. and sweeping change." But yeah. your your and approach sounds more practical yeah, and, and more realistic. I, you know, <laughs> that's what it's I all about. That, yeah. It's all about being realistic. And like I say, I've been out here at an early age, and nothing is done at the snap of your finger. It takes time. However, we will accelerate in the right direction. Right. We will make sure the correct consensus are in place. We will make sure that all of our I's are dotted mm -hmm. and our T's are crossed before right. we do make decisions. However, we will get it done. And then you said this is the people's campaign. Exactly. And, and so, you know, um, during mayoral elections, oftentimes the participation and turnout is low. So what's your plans on, oh, and door on to helping door. to increase door turnout? To door. That's how every program that I was a part of, mm -hmm. that's how we got our participation by going door to door. Right. And those same grassroots mm -hmm. practices right. what get led me to this point now is what will be continued throughout my duration in politics, right. throughout my duration through life, and throughout my duration of what I teach mm -hmm. back to the people. Right. We're going to hit the same grassroots campaign. Mm -hmm. We got a solid team awesome. and we're going to keep going door to door. And, and so what kind of response have you been getting when you oh, go wow. knock on the door? What are the people saying? 
and in our more in our more deprived areas, everybody's excited, of right. course. Yes, um, they're looking for that new change, that new phase. Right. However, I'm publicly you can consider me new. However, behind the scenes, yeah, you, I've, I've been out here. Right. But publicly, they're looking for that alternative candidate, and that's what I have to offer. Yes, we have to face things like the pier and the mm -hmm. water. However, that does not affect the everyday right. working person. Right. Does it affect me necessarily? No. Mm -hmm. What affects me is our failing schools. Mm -hmm. What affects me is our crime. Right. What affects me is the people don't have an opportunity at being self-sustaining, contributing citizens to our society. Right. And right. those are the things, the real issues that we must face before we can have a, 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 a grandiose peer, things right. of that nature. Right. We can have that. <laughs> However, right. if we don't put money or opportunities to the people that are more deprived, right. that's where you have that crime issue, where we're going to go and take. Yeah, that's Which like, we, um, we don't want that. In, in other countries and places around the world, mm -hmm. they have these tourist destinations. Exactly. But once you get, you know, further south or mm -hmm. east or wherever you go mm -hmm. in the country, you mm -hmm. see the real, you the know, real the real picture. And, and, and so it's good to hear that you're that's And, and it's so well. funny that you say that, because I, I frequented Washington, D.C. a lot last mm -hmm. year. And miles away from the White House, mm -hmm. the White House, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The neighborhoods are so deprived. It's 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 right. it's, it's saddening. Right. You right. can see the, the the cry out for help. Right. And it's they're being abandoned, and we're I I live amongst the people, and I feel it as well. And we're right. tired of being abandoned. We're we're, we're, we're we're ready to step up and claim our stake in this. So when you talk about neighborhoods, being that I'm a president of a neighborhood association and St. Petersburg is largely, mm -hmm. you know, segregated, for yes. lack of a better term, yes. that might be the right term, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. into different Call neighborhoods. What neighborhoods. Um, what would be your, your plan or program to help strengthen and support neighborhoods and in the work that Grassroots doing? campaign, allocating more funds to help with marketing mm -hmm. towards our neighborhood associations. Right. We, we, Anything in the city, really. We there's no, how do I say it? There's no inclusion. Mm -hmm. There's no inclusion with what's going on. I talked to back to walking the neighborhoods. I talked yeah. to these to our citizens. They don't know what a mayor is. Mm. They don't know they have a city council member. Right. They don't know they have neighborhood associations. Right. And it's because the inclusion there's right. none there. So it's just marketing, 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 marketing right. to help our neighborhood associations get their message out right. to their neighbors to let them know that we are here. We are here to help you. Whether you got an issue with your neighbor who's playing loud music yeah, or who I just has saw that too. that's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> we are trash. Right. A trash in the neighborhood. There's funds available for that, and we must, we must inclusion. Right. We have to let them know that we're here for them, and it's just like I say in our deprived areas, we don't know. Right. All right. So what we'll do is we'll take another quick break, and then we'll come back and continue our conversations with candidate for mayor of City of St. Petersburg, Anthony Cates III, right here on the Lakeside Chat. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Lakeside Chat. I'm your host, Brother John Muhammad, here with candidate for mayor, Anthony Cates III. And we talked about education, we're talking about crime, civic engagement, and his candidacy for mayor. And um, we want to continue that, that conversation. So thinking about um, becoming mayor, um, and we in a strong mayor format, yes. um, so you would be responsible for the day-to-day -day operations yeah. of the city. How prepared would you say that you are, and what has prepared you to be able to manage the 3,000 employees of the city, and how would you approach oh, wow. that? Like I say, everything that I've done in my life has led me up to now. I was over operations of a Supercenter Walmart mm -hmm. um, in, in Waimama, Florida, in which I'm still employed for Walmart, mm -hmm. and I'm over operations. So everything that I've done in my life has led me up to this point, right. where it pertains balance sheets and budgets mm -hmm. with the companies that I've managed to being having civic engagement with the community right and most importantly the 260,000 citizens that house this like I say that it's my family right and I'm always prepared to help my family right right so right. 
Yeah, it's just, and on a level of one to 10, I have to say I'm very ready. Yes, sir. And, uh, with the 10 and a half, with the, with the possibility of the 11, Yo, I'm, not, I'm ready. Because like I say, this campaign is the people's campaign. Right. So all 260,000 citizens, it's not just me doing the job. Mm -hmm. This is us doing the job. Right. Then we all must come together. Our strong sectors of our city mm -hmm. must come to our more weaker sections. And our weaker sections must go to our stronger sectors right. for help. And we have to come together because we are one. Right. It's just not South St. Pete or North St. Pete, Old Southeast. It's St. Petersburg, Florida. Right, right. So we all must come together as one right. and help each other out. And then your platform, if we wanted to find that, where would we be able to get On my website, which is www.anthonycates.com. Okay. Also, weekly, I'm hosting intimate meetings at meeting greets at my home okay where i'm welcoming right people love the That's city awesome. to come to my home right and, and and ask me questions or we sit down and we come up with solutions right to the problems that we do face and i i, I welcome everybody to my home right everybody so as we begin to wind down what would you say would be the the, the greatest um the best thing about the city of St. Petersburg mm -hmm. right now, and then what would be one of the biggest challenges that you would see in mm -hmm. as far as changing it as a, as the, a mayor? The best thing is 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 the people. Right. The people. Right. The people. That's I. We 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 come together in tough times. The people. That's yeah. Yeah. The best. Part. <laughs> I don't I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> yes, I don't know how else to put right, it. The right. people are the best thing that happen to us. We, yeah. we we make St. Pete great. Right. Right. The people and and now it's just. It's, it's, it's my job to continue to bring us together, right. continue to make that make us that strong, viable bond mm -hmm. so that we right. don't, it's no breaking. Although how tight I'm pushing together, right. I'm pulling apart and we must be just that tight. Right. And right. it's my job and my team's job in the 260,000 citizens who make up this city's job, we have to make that bond, a right. bond that'll never break. And we just gotta come together and and continue to help each other out. And so what great. would you say would be the biggest challenge? The biggest challenge, mm, economic development. Okay. And and that's that's across the board because with, and I, I can't really say economic development, I'll say education. Right. Because right. without education, Right, you know, nothing, yeah, because then you have with, with economics, you have horizontal growth, it, but education is vertical it, it, growth. Yeah, and, and, and that's, we, we must, right, we must start from the root cause, and right, um, education and getting our youth involved. And previous administrations, they always kind of say that you know, well, education is more of a county thing, and mm -hmm. we can't really get involved with education so much. Mm -hmm. So, how would you handle that, or what would you say yeah, to those we, who we, take we, that approach? Yeah, it's everything, it's everything plays into the city it's not just the county yeah right. we're inside of pinellas county right however because they control the school board and, and you know those type of things we must we must work hand in hand we have right. to put our stake because we see what the county is where the county is getting us right. my entire life i was thought to believe that christopher columbus discovered america <laughs> right. you know right so right we we as a city we must intervene right because the same people that we're leaving up to our county to educate. Mm -hmm. This is what's happening. Right. So, so, so you say you suggest that maybe you would put we'll some more to, yes. uh, culturally sensitive yes. things and yes. would advocate that, for and that, we that will as work mayor. together hand in hand right. with whatever superintendent, with whatever school board official, right. and like I say, with our with the citizens. Right. We have to get more involved. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So is there anything that you'd like to say to the people before um, we conclude? Yes. Um, we, we, we must. We must <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I just love looking at my brother. Yeah. But yeah, we, well, thank you. Yeah, thank we you. we must come together. We must stay together um, as a people um, because we are one city. We have one mission, one dream, and that's to move to economic prosperity, educational prosperity. We must work as one bond and becoming successful and, and becoming more of a unit to, to move our city in the right direction. And and I do see it. And and. and with me as the next mayor of St. Petersburg, Florida, I will not stop until it is done. And there will be no such thing as there's no room in the budget. Mm. My salary, I'll find room for the budget. Right. That $198,000 salary, right. that's going back to the people right. and programs to help make us great as an entire city. 
and small businesses. We, we have to be more involved with our smaller businesses. Our midtown St. Petersburg, which has been deprived for years, mm -hmm. um, we, we have to rebuild that and we have to rebuild it now. Um, mayor after mayor, my father moved here in 1974, mm -hmm. and he every chance or opportunity that he had to tell me, 16th Street mm -hmm. has been the same. Right. Nothing has been the same. So you're talking under Mayor Foster, under Mayor Christman, mm -hmm. under Mayor Rick Baker. Mm -hmm. 16th Street is still the same, minus the medians that went in the road on oh, 16th that was nice. Street. They, they planted and, those and, trees. Yeah. And, and even 18th Avenue. Flowers, and yeah. I believe yeah. that, that was under Mayor Baker. Right. If right. I'm not oh, mistaken. So, so nice. So, so, but not no real impact. No right. real impact. We right. have Simple to, without substance. We, yes. We have to <laughs> put into our small businesses that we, we have to grow our community. So, and give me the website again. Oh, the website www.anthonycates.com My email anthonycates for mayor at gmail.com um, My phone number is on my website which is 727-642-7773 You call me directly right. if you have an issue. You call me directly. Um, like I say, I'm welcoming everybody to my home to meet so that we can come up with real solutions right. to help combat some of the problems that we are having. And like I say, together we'll grow as a city. Excellent. And there you have it. Case, case for Mayor. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. You please make sure you go to the website. Uh, go to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Lakeside Chat. And also remember, key dates. The primary election is August the 29th. Make sure you get registered. Go vote. And also take the survey. Now, Brother Jabbar, make sure that I say this. PBR2017.org. Let your voice be heard. Take the survey. And again, go vote. As always, we'd like to thank you for tuning in, and we encourage you to continue to believe and do good. And always remember, no debate, vote case. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> <My man. laughs>